the Xbox Series X has done fairly well for itself since launch, especially when running older titles at higher frame rates and resolutions. However, not every game has received the optimized for Series X treatment. What are some of the best titles that deserve the same? Let's take a look at 15 of them here. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos every single day and your support really helps us out. With that out of the way, let's start. Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive's vivid art style would look absolutely phenomenal in 4K and 60fps. Currently the game runs at 900p and 30fps, and while the Xbox Series X's auto HDR makes it pop, a proper optimization patch would go a long way. Given that Sony owns the rights to the IP, this may seem like a pipe dream, at least on Xbox consoles, but we can still hope. Quantum Break for all the hype behind Quantum Break and its visuals, it didn't quite perform up to par on the Xbox One. The Xbox One X did slightly better, but its 4K resolution was actually a 1440p resolution scaled up with the help of temporal filtering, and even then it couldn't reliably maintain 30fps. With the Xbox Series X's raw power, proper 4K, that too at running 60fps, would be amazing. Of course, we wouldn't mind 1080p 60fps with ray tracing, which Remedy managed to pull off in Control Ultimate Edition. Halo 5 Guardians Pity 343 Industries Halo 5 Guardians. It received so many content updates after first launching in October 2015 and supports 4K on the Xbox One X. Throw in a near locked 60 FPS on the console and it would have been a prime candidate for so much more on Xbox Series X. Unfortunately, not only does it not get a 120 FPS option like Halo the Master Chief Collection, but other enhancements like ray tracing also aren't coming. Auto HDR is still a thing, but it definitely deserves more for how good it still looks. Rare Replay Rare's awesome 30 game compilation covering the majority of its release history is an interesting case. The Banjo-Kazooie Perfect Dark and Viva Pinata titles along with Cameo all receive 4K upgrades on the Xbox One X, but that's pretty much it. Auto HDR on Xbox Series X has also been a bit iffy on titles like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Is it too much to ask for the entire collection to be enhanced, even if it's just the more contemporary of releases? Probably, but one can dream. Gears of War 4 Gears of War 4 was one of the visual highlights of the last generation, running at 4K 60fps on Xbox One X while supporting HDR. And while it was eventually usurped by Gears 5, it could benefit from better quality shadows and screen space reflections, not to mention screen space global illumination. While 120Hz may be wasted on multiplayer, seeing as population counts would be extremely low, we wouldn't mind seeing the campaign implemented in some manner. Halo Wars 2 with 343 Industries quashing any hopes for a Halo Wars 3, Halo Wars 2 is pretty much it for now. On Xbox One X, the strategy title supported native 4K with HDR but ran at 30fps, that too with difficulty, and which led to screen tearing at the time. The game's CPU-driven nature, coupled with the much more powerful Zen 2 CPU in the Xbox Series X, means that 60fps at 4K shouldn't be an issue. Further improvements to the lighting and detail wouldn't hurt either. Hellblade – Senua's Sacrifice It's almost baffling that the first Hellblade didn't receive a proper 4K 60fps patch on Xbox Series X. With Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 coming exclusively to Xbox Series X and S and PC, not to mention Ninja Theory being owned by Microsoft, you'd figure it'd be overdue. Thanks to its Xbox One X enhancements, it can run at 60fps, dynamic 4K 30fps, or increased visual richness, but the Xbox Series X can deliver much more. At least it has HDR support built in. ReCore ReCore from Comcept, an armature studio, may not have fully delivered on its interesting premise, but it's far from the worst game. It received HDR support and would later be patched to run at 1440p on Xbox One X. However, 60fps gameplay is still something it could benefit from, especially on Xbox Series X. Who knows, perhaps a proper remaster could deliver 4K 60fps while polishing the gameplay further. Ori and the Blind Forest with how heavily 6K 60fps and 4K 120fps were pushed for Ori and the Will of the Wisps on Xbox Series X, it's baffling, again, that the original hasn't even been updated to 4K 60fps on the console. 
Even with the Xbox One X, it only ran at 1080p and 60 frames per second. For new players interested in the sequel, it only makes sense to at least bump up the frame rate, if not the resolution, for the original. Forza Motorsport 7 Once again, that Microsoft has a new Forza in the works for Xbox Series X, but hasn't done anything to enhance Forza Motorsport 7 on the console is, let's just say, odd for now. It ran at 4K 60fps on the Xbox One X with HDR, so it should have no problem doing so on the Xbox Series X. But other features like ray tracing and better anti-aliasing, bringing it closer to the PC version's MSAA would be great. 120fps mode wouldn't be so bad either. Killer Instinct Killer Instinct is easily one of the most underappreciated titles in Microsoft's repertoire. After a decent start on Xbox One, it received numerous updates and new fighters, earning great critical praise while building a strong cult following. However, it received almost no attention from the company in the last few years, despite running at native 4K on the Xbox One X. Enhanced visuals and 120fps support on Xbox Series X may not immediately increase its popularity, but it could go a long way for those still playing. Crackdown 3 we may never see the full extent of cloud-based destruction for Crackdown 3. The campaign did offer its share of guilty open-world pleasures, though, and the HDR support was beautifully implemented. Native 4K was mostly consistent on the Xbox One X, with some drops while the frame rate maintained a locked 30fps. 4K 60fps on Xbox Series X seems a given then, and a new content update wouldn't hurt either. Forza Horizon 3 much like Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 3 at least deserves a bump up to 60fps on Xbox Series X to match its native 4K resolution. It also wouldn't hurt to see the quality of cars improved or ray tracing implemented, even if this is a lot more work than warranted by a free update. But given that it has a PC version to draw on, an update to the overall graphics quality might be possible. Gears of War Ultimate Edition Granted, Gears of War Ultimate Edition didn't have quite the level of fidelity as Gears of War 4 and subsequently Gears 5, but it's running at 1080p resolution and 30fps in the campaign. Surely it could see an increase to native 4K at the very least, if not run at 60fps. If this can be achieved with a few compromises in Gears 5, it can be done here. Cuphead while Cuphead eventually came to the PS4 and Switch, it was first made available on the Xbox One and PC. However, even on the base console, it ran at 60fps and the visual quality is the same even when playing at 4K on Xbox One X. What enhancements could be done for the Xbox Series X then? Perhaps a 120fps mode for more pinpoint accuracy. It would certainly be welcome. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request before we conclude. We upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, do not forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.